Representatives of the American Policy Center were on Capitol Hill today to present more than 300,000 petitions in support of legislation to remove the U.S. from the United Nations. At a news conference, the center's president was joined by the author of the bill, Texas Republican Congressman Ron Paul, and others. It's about 45 minutes. Good morning uh, and welcome. Uh, I'm Ken Snyder, executive director of the Liberty Study Committee. This morning we have some speakers who are going to be giving their particular views on the United Nations Millennium Summit, the United Nations itself, uh, sovereignty, uh, U.S. role in the United Nations, as well as the experience of thousands of Americans throughout the United States. Uh, we plan to have the program in at 9.30. Uh, our first speaker is Congressman Ron Paul from the 14th District of Texas. Dr. Paul. Thank you very much. It's uh, nice to be here this morning. It's almost intimidating to look at these boxes and just wonder uh, who's been writing letters. Uh, and I, I hope uh, the members of Congress get the message. <laughs> uh, we're we're uh, here today to talk a little bit about uh, national sovereignty. I'm, I tell my people back home that I'm still old-fashioned enough to believe in the sovereignty of the United States. And that usually elicits uh, great applause because they know that there's a lot of people up here that aren't much interested in American sovereignty. What they're talking about up here is how you cooperate in a, a globalist type of government. And uh, I guess the best evidence for that is what we're frantically, as a Congress, doing right now to accommodate the World Trade Organization by uh, changing our tax law. because we have until October 1st to change tax laws for the foreign corporation tax that they have ruled uh, uh, does not conform with the WTO. But this is an example to me on how we have sacrificed so much. Uh, I am not an isolationist. I believe in free and open trade and free travel. But uh, I believe the way we spread our message is by example, but not by world, uh, world government. Today we have a foreign policy that is driven uh, by the United Nations. We put troops under UN command. Uh, NATO determines what we do. Uh, we have uh, uh, literally put our soldiers under command of foreign generals. This is very annoying and uh, something that the American people do not support, and, and yet it continues. Uh, we have become the world policeman acting under a UN banner. Uh, we follow the tax laws, of which is driven by uh, world government, and actually we're in a welfare system through the World Bank. So we have three arms of the United Nations, which uh, we have capitulated to. The first, the International Monetary Fund, uh, which is the financial arm of the uh, globalist-type government. And the welfare arm is the World Bank, and of course the management of trade is the World Trade Organization. Unlike others who claim they're for free trade, I do not like the uh, managed uh, trade through the World Trade Organization. This is literally managed trade because it sanctions uh, uh, tariffs uh, uh, and, uh, and, and actually permits a trade war to go on, uh, but not uh, determined by uh, the United States Congress. This is the reason that we have uh, coalition building on many of these issues, not uh, uh, adjust uh, conservative constitutionalists, but also people from the left who see this an attack. We may well disagree with what their solutions are to the problems of labor law and environmental law, but they're about as fed up with uh, an uh, international government dictating to us what environmental law and, and labor law should be. And this is the reason we literally see uh, tens of thousands of people rallying in the streets today uh, condemning this movement. And as the UN moves forward into this century, uh, we who have been fighting this uh, attempt to undermine our national sovereignty see this as a threat. We see this as a threat to our sovereignty, to our freedoms, to our principles, and therefore uh, we are alarmed. Evidently, uh, others are alarmed too. We see uh, a lot of petitions here. Uh, Tom, Tom DeWeese from the American Policy Center has been working on this issue for a long time, and I compliment him for being able to galvanize the American people. I, th I actually believe this is a small number of people. 
that are concerned, and there will be a lot more, and this will be a growing number. Once the American people realize what's actually happening uh, with our sacrifice, a lot of people complain about the sacrifice of our liberties from the local level to the federal level, that we get too many dictates from the federal government, that the EPA comes and tells us exactly what to do in our various states. But now we're going one level further and we're having treaties that are designed by internationalists, the Kyoto Treaty that will come in and dictate to the United States the particular laws. So it's not that we reject the ideas that we should deal with these problems, and it's not that we believe that we should not have trade with other nations, it's that we reject the notion that the American citizens should give up their freedoms and their sovereignty to some international government organization.